Hey guys, welcome back guys, Biker. Hope you're all well. Thanks Fees for tuning in. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me what mods I've done to the Tiger 900 since I've owned it. But before I start that, I thought I'd just start the video with what it looks like after two days of riding and what it looks like after I clean it because everyone pays me out for being a bit of a clean freak, which I am. I uh, love me bikes. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. And always, thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing that. So let's get into it. The girl there after two days of riding. Um, one was uh, the Triumph eating up the ruts. The other ride I went with Ross, Rob, and a few, and Bryce. Um, but she's just, it was mainly dusty as, man. I tell you, my eyes. As you can see in that intro, it was just full of dust, man. My eyes are hanging out my head. That's the arrow exhaust that I was telling you about, guys. With the single outlet, there's one with two. That'll be, that's the more quieter pipe than even the standard pipe. But that one's what you've been hearing. As you can see, she's pretty dusty. Um, that's where I keep my tool bag. Just there, I wrap it around here. This is silicon wrap, which I'll show you after I've uh, cleaned all the bike up. And my T Montana 680T, which I don't know how to use. Ross is going to show me how to do that. The famous stag pegs that I've got on, which I love. And uh, the new GoPro mount that I've, um, gonna tr I've tried out, you'll see in the next video. Yeah, so I'll chat soon as I've uh, cleaned her up and show you what you come up like and uh, what I've done to it. Right, guys, these are the sort of things that I've done to it. She's all clean now. Uh, under the seat, what I've done work-wise is connected a triple charge, which I don't hang out all the time, only when I'm parked. I just leave it like that and leave it on trickle charge. I'll show you that trickle charger in a little bit. Um, when I'm out riding, I just tuck it away under here Like so And happy days. It's all out of the road um, Also what I've done is hardwired a Garmin sat nav to This port here guys you have to do it to this port Don't do it to the front port because power is constantly on that. Uh, I'll put the seats back on. It's back on. Um, I'll start up here on the upper crash bars that I got for it after Mark um, Triumph actually put them on. I'm not too sure. It must be a Triumph. I don't know what brand it is, but the dealer did that. I've got a bit of one inch tube from 25 mil from Clark Rubber cut down the back here on one side slipped it over the pipe formed it you can use a little bit of a heat gun if you like just to help mold it a little bit and then i wrapped it in this silicon tape guys it's really good stuff it stretches it's self-adhesive just look at the brand and it's cheap as you can get it on ebay or who supplies i've got mine from clark rubber where i got my tube also, what I've done, guys, is I've taken the little cover off the side here, the plastic cover, this one here, on both sides, because what was happening when I was going over jumps and stuff like that, just not massive motocross jumps, but jumps, my knee would hit that side because it just sticks out a little bit, and mate, ouch, at the end of the day, riding it really paid, didn't, my knee came out second best, put it that way. Uh, steg pegs as well uh, what I'm doing with these I'm just gonna grind out drill out the little hole a little bit here just to drop them that little bit just to put it a little bit more behind me boot but I love these things guys if you look it up steg pegs I'll put it in the description um, they're worth well worth getting it takes the arm pump off there's a video on that sort of stuff as well on my channel also what I've done is expel wrapped the whole tank uh, the whole bike pretty well 
and it's a clear wrap. It's 3M, it stops help stop stone chips, it's really good stuff. You can just see the little join in there, but this is the matte because the bike is matte. If I put it in gloss, the bike would look glossy. So make sure if you got this one, you get the um, matte wrap, not the satin. It has to be matte, guys. Um, or vice versa, if you've got the black or the white, you use gloss, naturally. Um, and I've wrapped everything all around the front here, the headlights, the screen, the sides, everything. All down here as well, the fork legs, uh, down the front here as well. Pretty well everything, all the side guards and that. There's the other one off there. Um, and the stag peg, etc. Uh, I've done an arrow exhaust as well. I love that. Um, it's, I love the sound of it. It's beautiful. Um, there's the Garmin sat nav. But make sure, as I said, guys, that you connect it to this back one. As you can see, there's no power on it. Because this one only comes on when you switch the ignition on. I'll switch the ignition on now. There we go. So make sure you connect your sat nav to this connection here. Um, if you don't, and you connect it to this one, It'll, that's off now everything as you can see it still stays on right I also bought these here they're for me GoPro and phone or whatever I want to do I'll just connect it straight up into my helmet also if I'm using a GoPro on the front I'll connect it through into that um, I'm also using now which you'll see in the video coming up guys I've got a rear view uh, GoPro uh, showing it off the back end which it doesn't look too bad at the moment. I'm only still playing with that. And uh, pretty well that's about it, guys. Um, so I'm a bit of a clean freak, as you can see, with the bike. And uh, if you've got any questions, guys, throw them at me if I can help you and answer them. I definitely will. If I can't, I'll ask some of the boys that I ride with. And as always, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing that because there's going to be heaps of videos coming up on there. Um, Street Fighter, The Rocket, I'm going to start jumping back onto The Rocket and also the uh, Tiger 900. But as always, ride safe, guys. Stay safe. And thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Bye for now.